In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a cornet, which is a disposable piping bag that's made from parchment paper. If you don't have a plastic piping bag, uh, this is a great option, or also if you really want that fine tip um, that you really can't get from um, a plastic piping bag, uh, then this is also great for that. So let's get into it. So I'm starting with um, a piece of parchment paper, and then I'm going to make it. I'm going to fold that in half really seal this edge, really get it down there. You can always run the back of your knife over it to really get a good seal. And then use a sharp knife um, to cut the edge. Now some of the keys to making sure your cornet is perfection is making sure that you get a really, really clean cut. Um, and the only way to do that is with a, a non-serrated, uh, very sharp knife. Um, and then, I am going to take my smaller rectangle and then I'm going to fold it so that I create a square in the corner. Now this is going to form two uh, cornets. Really same, same concept applies here. Make sure you get a really firm you know, line there and then carefully go ahead and cut along the edge. Okay, so now we have two little future cornets. So I like to take my cornet, um, I'm right-handed, so if you're left-handed, you're gonna do the opposite of what I'm doing. Um, I prefer to roll with my right hand because I'm dominant in that way. So I am going to hold the, the center on this side, which is basically directly across from the tip. So hold there, and that's your anchor. That is going to be your point. And then you take the top, which is the one with the little square, like the non-pointy edge, and you're going to kind of, you know, you're going to create your first roll. So I've got a little cone that I've started, and I'm going to, I'm going to hold my uh, cornet in the, the groove of my hand. Now we want to set our point, and we don't want to move the point. Um, so this is part of how you get a really fine tip that doesn't curly cue. So put it into the groove of your fingers and kind of hold it gently with your thumb. You don't want to squish it because you don't want to squish the tip. You want to keep, let it move in there, but not, you know, you don't want it to like be loosey goosey. So then we're just going to start to roll, right? Just rolling as we go. I'm allowing the tip to move in my fingers. And then I've got, I've got a cone, right? We can stop here. But then you're gonna find that you have, your paper is all over the place, right? Which means that your, your icing or your chocolate is gonna come out in a spiral, which can do in a pinch, but it's not ideal. So the next step is that we're going to kind of, I'm gonna move my fingers like this, up and down with my thumb inside. Um, moving that inner, that innermost piece of paper to make sure that I get, it's going to realign the paper and it's going to get it tight. So I've got like a really nice fine tip here, which you can't see probably, but um, it's super sharp, like a pencil almost. And you can see that my, the back line, like in pantyhose or something, is super straight and it goes straight down to the tip. Now I just like to check that because if it curls at all, then it my then whatever I put inside my cornet is going to curl. So I, you know, you can also like loosen it up a lot and then tighten it down um, if you find that it's gotten way off. Um, great, and that's that's that. So the last step is to seal it. So you're going to take all of the top bits and you're going to fold them inside. Okay. So just roll, fold all that in there, and then you will put your icing or chocolate inside your cornet. Um, the other tip to cornet success is to make sure you don't overfill your cornet, otherwise it kind of comes out the top and it's just a big old mess, and the whole point is not to have a mess, correct? So we're gonna take a little bit on our spoon, and, ah, and we're gonna allow it to drip into our cornet. Um, I find this the least messy way to fill a cornet. So I'm, I'm full to about here, and I'm feeling happy about that. I could probably put a little bit more in, but I don't think I need to. The way to fold a cornet once you've filled it is you see where your seam is, right? 
we are going to fold away from our seam. We want to keep the seam tight because we want to keep the tip tight. So um, kind of flatten it like that and then kind of I like to fold it almost like an envelope in a way um, and then just fold over the top and roll. Um, and this keeps everything tight, um, but it also allows you to kind of continue to roll down as your cornet em empties, um, keeping the tip tight, and also um, making sure no filling kind of splooches out. So anyways, we have like a beautifully filled cornet here. It's almost like I do this professionally. Um, you can make a bunch of these at one time and stack them inside of each other and keep them in your cabinet. And then you're like, oh my gosh, I need to decorate some cookies or write happy birthday. You're prepared. Amazing. Anyways, so that's how quickly to make a cornet. Um, and you're off. <laughs>